Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you where to get the Rhino Beetle Shell which will create either the Rhino Beetle Plate or the Rhino Beetle Shield in Baldur's Gate 1 Siege of Dragon Spear Expansion Pack. So right now where I am is in the Forest of Worms. You can see I'm at the bottom of the zone right here, right outside of an area called the Spider Lair, which is actually where we have to go. If you want to see where I am on the world map, this is where. Like I said, I'm part. I'm in the Siege of Dragon Spear expansion pack right now, so keep that in mind. You'll only be able to get this item if you're uh, during the expansion, obviously. And here is the Spider Lair. So the Spider Lair, obviously, at first, it's going to have a bunch of spiders in it, right? And this area is actually going to be quite difficult, so keep that in mind. It's not uh, it's not going to be a uh, run in there and easily just, you know, plow through all of the enemies sort of thing. It's going to be a uh, go a little bit slow, watch out for traps, and uh, make sure you buff up and are pr prepared for tougher fights. So... One of the things I would like to mention is, uh, or I guess one of the things I need to mention, is you have to clear all of the spiders in this area, and then when you do that, beetles will start spawning in. There will be a beetle that spawns in the middle, and what happens then is you fight the beetle, and that's basically it. The beetle drops this shell, and you are done. There is a few other things, though, that it are worth mentioning. Uh... The first of which, the beetles, or actually the spiders are also going to drop a spider leg item, which is part of Nira's companion quest. So you would probably want to grab this item if you plan on doing Nira's companion quest, because if you leave this area and then come back, there's a chance the item will despawn and you'll lose it forever. Uh, the strategy, there's a few different strategies for dealing with the spiders, but the one you see me uh, doing here is one of the better ones. You can either summon a bunch of pets and basically send them in to do the fighting for you, and uh, they'll take care of the spiders which is what you see me kind of do with the first set of spiders. Or you can kind of just use your wizard and start throwing uh, fireballs into the room like you see me do there with Edwin. And that's another pretty effective strategy for dealing with all of the spiders. As you, as you can see, the skellies are taking the brunt of the, uh, the fight up there. Let me summon more... Uh, We'll send those guys into this room over here. If I'm not mistaken, there's a web trap in this, uh... I thought there was more web traps throughout this dungeon, but apparently I'm misremembering. Thankfully, I made it look easy. Oh, there you go. There's the web trap. It just went off. I knew there was a web trap in here somewhere. Now we kind of need to, uh, actually I think we missed killing a spider. I think that's why, uh, because otherwise there would be like rumbling and, uh, you would be notified that, um, beetles have spawned. There's another web trap. As you can see, there's a, uh, Hide armor, let me show you what that is. If I remember correctly, it's not anything. Goblin hide armor plus two. So this can, uh, you can put it on McKin if uh, if you're using the goblin shaman. Otherwise, it would be basically useless armor. Nope, that didn't summon the uh, big bossy spiders. You can see some spider eggs in here. If I'm not mistaken, they're used for a companion quest too, but... I could be wrong. Apparently we're missing a spider somewhere. Where is my missing spider? There we go. Now the beetle spawned. Apparently we needed to like explore the whole entire thing. I'm not exactly sure. I thought it was just kill all of the spiders, but I've never had that issue before where uh, the beetles didn't spawn after all of the spiders died. You can see now, though, the beetles are becoming hostile to us in the main room, which is, uh, it's also good they're kind of becoming intermittently hostile to us, only a few at a time, which gives us ample opportunity to, uh, fight them. And then we get to fight big bad Mr. Uh, Rhinoceros Beetle. 
This rhinoceros beetle is the one that's going to drop the beetle carapace that we're after. So obviously this is the main one that we need to take out. He is a little bit challenging, so keep that in mind. I am tanking him with my uh, last remaining skelly, who as you can see is getting his ass beat. And this item right here, rhino beetle shell, that's what we're after. That is the, uh, the item that is required for the um, making the armor. So in order to make the armor, once you have all of the items you need, you're going to make it, need to take it to Jeg. I uh, can't remember his surname. Hillcrafter? Something like that. But he is found in uh, the bridge fort. The first time you ever meet him. After you solve the problem at bridge fort and everybody moves to the coalition camp, then you can find Jeg at the coalition camp instead. And the last thing I'll mention is don't forget this giant spider leg if you plan to do Nira's companion side quest. Because that is a uh, an item that is required for it. But anyway, that is all there is to it. I hope this video helped you guys out. Hopefully it answered your questions. If it did, be sure to leave me a like because that helps me out. And I will catch you guys around in future Baldur's Gate 1 videos. Peace.